Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath FX YouTube channel, and this is Redmi Note 7 Pro. As you can see, guys, this is a Redmi Note 7 Pro custom ROM reviews. And first and foremost, thing is people are getting some problems flashing these kind of ROMs. This is an Android 13 based ROM, as you can see. But in order to flash Android 13 and Android 14, there is an updated TWRP recovery. You should flash that ROM sorry flash that recovery as i imagine a recovery whatever the existing recovery just forced to use that recovery twrp recovery and also some of them are looking for a decrypted roms without flash i mean without formatting the data they need to flash the roms for them also there is a latest version of dfe 5 both the links are the given in the whatsapp group for redmi note 7 pro there is a dedicated group for redmi note 7 pro i recommend you people to join that group there i will be providing that twrp recovery as well as dfe5 but i don't recommend to flash using dfe instead of that use the format data method using sd card even in the previous versions of uh, recoveries sd card is accessibility is not given uh, only the otgs are going to work in the earlier recoveries i recommend to uh, switch to new twrp recovery which will be given in the whatsapp group guys join there and coming to this rom this is an afterlife version 4.0 wrath official version for redmi note 7 pro android version is 13 but the security patch is november 5th 2023 is the latest one build number you can see and the kernel user is 4.14.330 puff kernel has been used this is also a latest build ceiling status is enforcing will close this and i'll close all these things right now and this how the typical home screen and quick settings panel you really like it it's not even a android based quick settings panel not even a miui based it's some completely differ in my opinion as you can see auto brightness slider here there is a toggle to auto brightness slider this is how it works and this all the other toggles you get for example if you press and hold here bluetooth as you can see even internet this is how it looks and directly you can boot into settings from here yeah that's how it is settings panel is also fine quick settings it's look a little bit different here i really like it if you swipe here you get other options there is no edit options here it is if i want to drag and add for example i want to add the location a dark theme and some other options sync option is also given other things you can is can say direct sound settings and other things fs counter if want you can add them into the quick settings panel let me disable this location now yeah this is how simple it is it will be already it's a compact smartphone but still if you want to use it in one handed mode the quick settings toggles will be in the downsides if you want to still use it one handed mode i will be turning it on anyhow this how the quick settings panel i really like the kind of implementation that has been done in the quick settings panel which is really different in ui and this is the typical home screen you get these are the app drawer and apps i have installed if i press and hold here you get a home settings this is a quick step launcher has been given icons again you can customize them home screen again you can do some of the customizations including music search themed icons google search bar radius and some of the other options you can see here those things you can play around even in the app drawer also there are some settings you can even force them to apply the themed icons which is really good in my opinion suggestions if you want to disable them you can disable them you can even block the apps miscellaneous settings you get these kind of options again it getting restarted anyhow uh, afterlife version 4.0 this is the rom widgets android 13 based widgets yeah it's available you just need to drag and add on the home screen you can even choose the presets yeah i'll choose this one and even if you press and hold here again you can adjust the size of it as you can see this much is okay for me and based upon that you can play around this this is an android 13 i really like the biggest change here is the quick settings panel now moving into settings again it's also very simple as you can see here you get a after lapse status bar after life logo if you want to enable that you will get that in the top right side corner you can even position them left or right sorry it's in left position status bar battery again if you want something different like me pill is also given 
you can change that percentage you can keep it inside or outside even qs customization status bar customization both are included here use network traffic indicator it's also going to work fine no problem regarding that status bar and other settings you can see on the screen themes after lap style semi grid style if want you can do that too username also you can change for example if you want to subscribe to my channel subscribe guys i'll change that to subscribe okay now you guys can see here yeah category percentage style again you get plenty here star icons uh, tiles or app cans bold view something you can customize further padding also is given monet engine customization again use black theme force black theme that's also given here let me turn it on yeah once you upload the dark mode i'll show you within a while that and other customization you can do here gestures again you get system gestures 100 mode as i said just use this but anyhow it's a handy phone i don't think so we need that anyhow it's given swipe to three finger screenshot also is given yeah other settings like system navigation into gesture navigation there is an option to increase the pill length and even the radius and the bottom of it is also given radius is too big now yeah that's fine and length yeah this much for me it's okay if you want something to be changed regarding this pill you can do that customization i really like it this is the gestures settings you get quick settings again you get plenty here animation style in the quick settings lock screen again you guys can see media cover art fingerprint attention vibration and error vibration those things are given here notifications again colored notification icons enable that it's lighting power menu advanced restart button yeah it's there and miscellaneous settings you also get a unlock high fps count in bgmi kind of games from here now moving into other settings uh, simple settings like sound and vibration you get basic settings here nothing fancy me sound enhance the direct sound settings are being given just select the headphone type and preset from here that's it clear speaker option is also given now moving into display settings again uh, you get everything is arranged in some different manner like tiles kind of thing dark theme i'll show you now how it looks now in pitch black condition yeah quick settings well how it look it's smooth actually i didn't face any lag in the quick settings or even in the entire UI. that's the good sign of this ui guys night light feature is given you can even schedule it out and increase or decrease that intensity tap to wake is given a live display options are also given wallpaper style again it revert back to the settings you get some pre-installed wallpapers too battery again as i said battery life is very good here I can't say it's great enough but extreme battery saver is also given in this particular ROM adaptive battery again and battery charge warning also you can enable for certain percentage in the readme note 7 pro i haven't faced any heating issues or anything in this particular ROM but if you play bgm in 60 fs enabling that high fs count then you might see some lag in the ui also after heating and this is the access built in menu which is a handy feature without actually using the physical buttons as you can see i can increase or decrease the volume from here which is a cool thing you should definitely use it in this kind of roms other accessibility settings are also given in this room no need to worry regarding that location and google maps everything is working fine moving into the other settings like into the system if i can go yeah you get even system updater but i don't recommend to use that use manual method to flash any custom roms and this is the aqua battery results case you guys can get some idea how is the battery life and the 18 watt charging support is also given in this particular room but i recommend to use the 10 watt charger only if i go into file manager i have stored some of the images for you yeah a recent yeah this one this is the antidote benchmark call 3 lakhs 39,370 and temperature raise was 2.7 degrees celsius and 7 percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing on this redmi note 7 pro after this os install in the custom rom and so which is quite good and yeah there's a cpu throttling test for 15 minutes you can see maximum is 173 average is 162 minimum is 142 and it's throttled to 91 percent of its max performance and this is a 100 t test case we'll show that too which is quite good in my opinion the scores are really good 91 percentage of 
that is really good in my opinion and geekbench scores are like this 666 single score and 1718 and the kernel uses linux 4.14.330 and android is version is 13 which is good in my opinion the battery life and everything is fine i haven't tried playing vgm or anything like that but keep in mind this might get uh, heated up once you play in 60 fps and why is uh, i mean this why is and i mean the safety net checker you guys can see it get fast you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay you know sbi all are going to work fine no need to worry that even drm information is also level one certified no need to worry regarding these things it's stable enough from and camera application you get a proper miui camera as you can see no problem in just it taking half a second for shutter but anyhow it's fine for snapdragon 675 these are the options you get in the video also you get up to 4k 30 fps as you can see grid lines and settings you guys can see these are the things you get in the particular camera application if you want something advanced you can use the g cam ports those are always uh, welcome for you there are plenty my personal favorite is the arnova if you have any particular g cam with you that you are using from long term and you like it if you want to share with someone let me know in the comment section guys what g cam you are using for redmi note 7 pro and are you satisfied with that particular g cam and i recommend to join the redmi note 7 pro separate whatsapp group that's available in the description the link of that join that and flashing method is very simple as i explained earlier of this video that's it guys i will be giving the dedicated link to the a video in the description also there is a short video how to flash the custom rom in redmi note sample but update the uh, firmware and twrp recovery and this rom jep file i think i have explained everything if i forget anything to explain in this particular review you can comment down in the comment section guys uh that's it you can use it as a daily driver i haven't faced any issues as of now but uh, that's it it's a different view but it is an android 13 rom i don't mind it's an android 13 it's very stable very smooth and the battery life is also excellent in this particular rom we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keeps smelling baba for now